as temperatures climb today, we've been tracking power outages throughout the morning and the overnight hours. An sdg and &E spokesperson told me at one point, more than 13,000 customers lost power. It spread to places like Escondido, Vista, Pala, Lemon Grove, and La Jolla. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell has been all over the county to see how people are dealing with the heat without electricity. Good morning, Jared. So we're right here off of Valley Center Road and Vesper Road at this intersection because we saw on SDG&E's map that there were hundreds of outages here this morning. So we followed the outages, but by the time that we got here, it seems like crews actually got to fixing it right away because there were no more outages reported. So we were in the area, we were trying to talk to some uh, customers and to some businesses, and we came across the Valley Center Municipal Water District. And we actually learned from the general manager here how they are prepared for these types of triple dip digit temperatures. We haven't been affected by any outages. This facility is fully powered as we have uh, gen set generators uh, that come on automatically. Mm -hmm. We have generators at our critical pumping stations mm -hmm. and then I have four large generators that I can deploy. Manager Gary Arant says Valley, the Valley Center Municipal Water District serves 30,000 customers and they have 29 pumping stations. He says back in the early 2000s, they invested into hardening their systems. So if and when the power goes on, on the grid that they're connected to, their generators automatically will keep on. It keeps business flowing during extreme weather events like what the county saw over this weekend. Gary says right here in Valley Center, they experienced 100 and 10 degree weather. We have a lot of customers who live in the higher elevations. Well, if the power goes off to the pump stations and the reservoirs run out of water, then those people don't have water. And of course, then the firefighters, uh, if there's a fire that comes about, <clears throat> they don't have any water to fight the fire with. And sdg and &E wrote me an explanation this morning as to why thousands of customers experienced outages over the weekend. They said in part that the heat wave coupled with little to no cooling overnight, see that adds stress onto their equipment. And they're referring to customers leaving their AC units running through the night. So they recommend to pre-cool your homes during the early hours of the day and setting your thermostats to 78 degrees or higher during the peak hours, which is from 4 to 9 p.m. when electricity is at its highest demand. Now, Valley Center's power may be restored, but crews are still working across the county. At last check, we saw that customers right now in Pala, City Heights, Choyas Creek, Vista, Encinitas, they're still experiencing outages, and Encinitas has the highest amount of customers right now, with 300 customers experiencing outages. Live in Valley Center, I'm Danny Meskel, ABC 10 News.